Benjamin, there's been a lot of attention in this country on how much borrowing has grown over the years. What about savings? How's the savings rate been doing? Well, the savings rate has been actually going up a little bit, and that's a good story relative to previous years. It's lower, but it's starting to turn around. And the key issue here is, again, credit, because savings is the other side of the coin. It's negative. Um, savings. That's what credit is. And therefore, with credit slowing down, the savings rate is starting to rise. Right. So for, for increasing our borrowing less, that leaves more money left over for savings. I've looked at long-term savings numbers for the savings rate, and they seem to track interest rates a fair bit. Of course, when interest rates were super high in the early 80s, there was lots of people were saving. Of course, you want to capitalize on double-digit rates. Rates now are terrible, and yet people are increasing savings. Why is that? Well, first of all, you're absolutely right. When interest rates start raise, rising, we, you will see a situation in which uh, the savings rates will rise. But also, there is another factor, and that's actually passive savings. When you make money on your house, that's your savings, and therefore you don't save actively. With the housing market leveling off or maybe going down, people will go back to old-fashioned savings, basically actively saving as opposed to saving on the house. That's interesting, and, and it shows that people don't necessarily need uh, sky-high interest rates to get them interested in savings. Absolutely, and we will see it over the next two years. We'll see interest rates actually stabilizing, but the savings rates rising because of the fact that the housing market will not be as robust. All right, another good news economic story. Thanks, Benjamin. Thank you.